Thank you, Chairman Smith. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this hearing today. And I want to personally thank you for your 30 years of dedication that I have known you, for those in their pursuit of freedoms of conscience throughout the world. I would also like to thank the witnesses who are here to testify before us today. Next week will mark the 25th anniversary of Tiananmen Square Massacre. It was June 4, 1989, when the Chinese Army rolled into Tiananmen Square in tanks and began to fire indiscriminately on the peaceful protesters. These protesters were gathered peacefully, seeking a more democratic China, a China that allowed for basic human rights, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, and end government corruption. Hundreds, if not thousands, were massacred for peacefully seeking rights which should be afforded to every person around the world. To this day, in many provinces in China, it continues to aggressively suppress the rights of citizens, and I am committed to continuing to work with Chairman Smith and this committee and on the Congressional Executive China Commission to bring light onto these issues. I have worked for the past 25 years of the underground Christian Church, and I have been able to see firsthand the impact of what it means to allow Christians to live freely and what they can accomplish. The integrity, the loyalty, and the faithfulness of Christian believers demonstrates the powerful impact that, that their freedom can have on a culture and even an economy. Unfortunately, as Ronald Reagan once said, our nation, too, has a legacy of evil with which it must deal. America has dealt with discrimination based on heritage, gender, and political affiliation. However, one of the reasons America was able to eradicate slavery was a free exchange of different political points of view. Through a very robust debate of ideas, our nation has become stronger, even through a civil war where we lost over 600,000 lives. The concerns I share today are in the spirit of humility as America faces her own problems, those with drugs, with violence, with pornography, those still prevailing discrimination, among others. My interest, though, is not to be condescending, but to recognize how both China and the United States can and must improve their cultures. My honesty about China is consistent with my acknowledgment and honesty about our own country. Again, I would like to thank the witnesses for appearing before us today. I look forward to your testimony, and I am, again, grateful to Chairman Smith for calling this hearing.